Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, January 15th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun, Kate. My little cat has eaten a first round and maybe Mac for more, but I have with me the things that help me pray. St. Francis. Jesus. Jesus. and Mary and the baby. We continue in Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. And as we approach Martin Luther King Day and the inauguration day, I know that all of you along with me, we're praying for peace. We're praying for the healing of this country, uh, for an end to this division and strife and just to get through the next week um, in peace. Paul talks about the mystery of Christ hidden in God from the beginning of time. That God had Christ, had the incarnation of Jesus in mind from the beginning of the creation of the universe. That God would become incarnate to bring human beings out of uh, sin and into light and into life. It's very hard for us to understand what it means uh, that we live with sin. It sounds nasty and kind of almost like self-hatred sometimes. And a lot of people don't like the word sin. But as we approach Martin Luther King Day, it's easier to see sin through the lens of racism. If, if you look at just the history of this country, the fact that our vision was so warped that we actually uh, judged the value of a human being based on the color of their skin and treated human beings as if they were cattle or worse, uh, hanged them, shot them, uh, enslaved them, lynched them, raped them, beat them, humans hurting other humans because of this terrible perception that we now call racism, the judging of a person based on their race. Racism is a state of extreme sinfulness in which our whole country, the white people in our country and the black people, we saw through this lens of racism, through this lens of sinfulness, and it's still with us, uh, we are still, cleaning the dirt off of that lens. Sin is an all pervasive thing and it, it is very difficult to uh, erase or lift like racism. It, it takes sacrifice like that of Dr. King, uh, like that of Jesus. It takes people dying for us to wake up. Uh, and the mystery of Christ hidden in God is that God wants to restore us to right relationship with one another and with God, and God is willing to become incarnate and to die for us in order for that to happen, in order for the lens of our sight to be cleaned of all this injustice and misperception, um, including what we're doing to our planet, including the way that we see one another. Sin is a difficult concept to grasp. But ultimately, when we begin to understand it, when I go to the grocery store and I see everyone buying plastic bags over and over and over again, even though we know there's nowhere for them to go and a dolphin was found dead with plastic bags in its belly and yet people come unconsciously buying them and bu using them and using them and using them and you see the state of sinfulness and how we need to be saved. We need to be awakened before we just kill one another and ruin the planet. God has to wake us up, help us to see more clearly, save us. And we can't do it ourselves. We're too caught up in it. We need an eruption of love like that of Dr. King, an eruption of love, a martyrdom, before we can begin to see. And so 
God said from the beginning, these humans are going to need my help in order to love one another and to love me. So I'll send Jesus to show them how. Sin doesn't mean you're bad. It means you cannot see clearly. Let us pray in the next few days diligently for peace and for understanding and for this country that we might awaken to the value of human life, of each other, and of this earth. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this beautiful new day, and we thank you for the gift of your Savior, Jesus, who saves us because we cannot see. We cannot see clearly how to love one another, and we cannot see clearly how to love you we cannot see clearly how to care for this creation that you've given us. We do not value each other in the way that you intend. Save us, Lord. Save us from this pandemic. Save us from the violence and hatred that erupts inside of us and causes us to hurt one another. Save us from fear of disagreement. Bring us to a new day, Lord, a day of awakening. Awaken this country to the beauty and gift of democracy, of freedom, of one another, and most of all of you. Be with the sick, the dying. Thank you for these vaccines. Help us to distribute them rapidly, widely, and as simply as possible. Guard and protect all those who are serving you like Paul did so many years ago. Help us to see you, Lord, and to serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.